one. A little kiss on something would be nice here. Didn't quite happen, but he's still got the green to the right middle. Wollaston and Gilbert were late call-ups. Uh, other players withdrew. Wollaston had been due to come in group seven, so this is a bonus for him. But needs to start getting points on the board. He's only got two more matches after this one to play in the group. <coughs> and with just one point to his name at the moment, he really needs to start motoring soon. Four. Trump's 2-0 up against Mark Williams. What a day Trump's having right now. He's won all these matches up to press. Seven. He's on the yellow, maybe a bit straight on it. Just a safety then, can't from the yellow greedy. Really get to the reds, so just biding his time. Not good from Williston. 
problem for Gilbert is getting out for a colour here. Not got a lot of angle to work with. None really. One. So just one point and try and force another opening with a good safety. Good return from Wollaston. It's all a bit cagey in the early stages of this opening frame. Well, that's going straight in the pocket. Oh, there go. Four. It's a bit clumsy, really. if he can make a plant here play it as a shot to nothing taking the white back to bolt well he's decided to do something else instead
He's knocked in a great red, is what he's done. <laughs> it's interesting, he seemed to take a while looking at that plant and then just kind of glanced across to the, that red and knocked it in. Dave Gilbert, one of these players who has not yet been in the top 16, but certainly would be a welcome addition. Just struggles, I think, at times for a bit of consistency and can't back up a, a good win with another one, which is why he hasn't quite yet got in the 16, but there's still time. Could have done without the kiss on the red. But I think Five. this red on the right of the two does still pot to the right corner, so it's okay. Yeah, no problem. Well, this still needs good queuing. So Gilbert now nicely in here. Meanwhile, Judd Trump has beaten Mark Williams 3-0, so that's uh, end of play on table two. Trump, four wins out of four. We'll be seeing him in the playoffs tomorrow, even though he's uh, still got two matches to play, but with four wins already, Seven. he's nailed on. Got to the semi finals of Group 4 a couple of weeks ago, but uh, was beaten by Ali Carter. Eighty. And he scored two points, Trump, lost 3 0, but uh, he's back with a vengeance in this group. Meanwhile, Gilbert still going. Well, I don't think he's on this red. The reaction suggests suggests he thinks he's not, although he may just be able to kick That's it in. A little bit of side. Well, it looks okay from that angle. I think he thought he wasn't on it. But he's potted it all the same. C5. So the lead thirty seven, which means you won't need two of the reds close to side cushions. In fact, if he pots, uh, the eight. Working out the score here. The refs are uh, not the quickest putting the scores on. 45, so yeah, red and a black. And it's snooker required. Yeah.
In the end, it's been a good break, this. Got in with a, a raking long red. 56. Always well, missed that one, but should have done enough. 56. 56 break from Gilbert. Three snookers needed by Ben Williston. Sorry, it's actually one snooker needed because there's three reds on. So Gilbert's got to be careful here. Well, that's worked out well because he needs the black. Although it could be an easier pot. So this middle pocket. Got to go in this. So, still one snooker needed. It was a nice try to get in behind the black, but just caught the black instead. And now he's in a snooker himself. And this is this is tough. Red's gone by the green. <coughs> I 
<coughs> Danger of leaving a free ball. Well, it's red first. <coughs> but he's given Gilbert a chance to knock it in and secure this frame. Uh, he's nowhere near. Got the snooker, though. So Williston needs two snookers now, 41 the difference with 35 remaining. Well, he'll need the long stuff but this is cuttable this red. And if it goes in then it's Gilbert's frame for sure. So Dave Gilbert mops up to the final will be probably coming around about towards the conclusion. Top four in the table contest the semis of course. It's gone close to the corner pocket. It's thin, but it's cuttable.
Three. I just slightly awkward queuing now. Well, there's red that goes, but obviously he doesn't like having to queue over another red to get to it. Hence the safety. Then was three. Wollaston's caught the safety a bit thick, so Gilbert with a couple of reds to go out here, either left or right corner, it looks like it's going to be the left. One. Gilbert who won the first frame helped by a break of 56, he's in here in the second. Pink and black available at the moment. A few reds to go at. All about building up a useful lead before having to worry too much about the cluster of reds that need developing. Set. It could be 40 or 50 in front before he needs to worry too much about them. Eight. Twenty four. So as I say, Gil Gilbert building up that lead that I mentioned. Thirty one. <coughs> dealing with the open reds at the moment. But he's running out of them, so very soon he's going to have to get into that cluster and that will be key to whether he wins the frame in one visit or not. Well, he did take the opportunity to develop some reds, but he didn't pop the red to the middle. 39. So the break ends at 39, the lead just 32.
Well, managed to uh, catch the blue. Fine. Left a chance at this long red. A missed call, but a <coughs> chance at a pot here for Wollaston. Try and get himself involved in this frame and indeed this match. Nicely done. Well, green or the thinnish blue to continue. So Ben Williston, who's had three centuries throughout the course of today, has got the reds nicely open. This is a good chance to level the match. Brown puts him in front by a single point. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Well, quite a deliberate break this, but he's still going. Black puts him sixteen in front. So these two reds with colours, and Dave Gilbert needs snookers. Forty-three.
44. Just overrun slightly on the red. It can still pot it, but maybe a bit more difficult than it should have been. 51. But it is effectively frame ball. Nicely done. Williston's frame. 52. He did what Gilbert did in the first frame. Let's make a half century break. Sixty-four. Sixty-nine. <coughs> He's a nice easy style around the table, Ben Williston. Very talented player from the Leicester area, which of course has uh, long been a hotbed of snooker. 75. 75, the break ends, ben and Ben Wollaston levels the match, getting frame three underway, level with Ben Wollaston, one frame all. Well, he's a bit fortunate here if he's got away with this. <coughs> he hadn't got away with it, but Gilbert unable to pot the red.
with a lot of reds to go at. Or 15, in fact, but obviously needs to find a hiding place for the cue ball. Quite a few reds have opened up already. Well, first of all, he's got to hit one, and he just has. So red's gone towards the corner. The black's tied up at the moment. Pink and blue, though, are two big colours available. Cracking red. If anything, gone into the white too much. <coughs> Be a brave pot on the yellow to take on. He's got it, and he's on a red. As I say, the immediate Three. issue really is the black's tied up. Complicates things a little, but the pink and blue are out in play. Seventy. 
eight. You would ideally like to get the black out here at some point, just makes it easier, but can rely on this pink for now. Twenty. Well, the black uh, didn't quite come free. If that was his intention. But he's still going, that's the main thing. Break just becoming a little bit more precarious as it reaches 30. <coughs> Would have liked to have been closer to this red, ideally. And now, lost the white, really. 31. Looks like it's time to try and close the shop. So 31 gives him a 32 point lead. Just avoided the double kiss, and this looks a good shot. mistake but doesn't look like it uh, necessarily will be a fatal one not left an easy pot on
Well, this has suddenly got very cagey. One of the problems is the red, the uh, the reds down the table near the bulk end, stopping the natural safety. Unless one of these two can find a hiding place for the cue ball. In truth, Wollaston a long way away from the pot. And he's left it on for Dave Gilbert, who trails by 32. Dave, well that was a good chance and he knows it had a couple of half centuries in the match but it's not exactly been scintillating stuff it's got to be said but Wollaston's 32 in front so as he lines up this red he's in the driving seat in the frame Brown to lead by 51, so he needs a couple more reds as well. Nine. Well, this might be okay. He just needs the red and it's on to the middle. 59 in front with 59 on. If you can just drop this red in the left middle, then snooker's required. <coughs> Slightly hampered cue in, having to raise that, raise that bridge hand, but just the red needed. And in it goes, and Jeez. the black as well for security. It's three snookers required at the moment, but the black going in makes it Ben Wollaston's frame for sure. Well, Dave Gilbert, Mr. Red, it was costly. Yeah. Ben Wollaston, 35. Stays in his seat, and Ben Wollaston grateful to... So Ben Wollaston leads Dave Gilbert 
This is frame four. We had one decider all day. That was uh, the previous match on this table. Williston lost 3-2 to Ricky Walden. Bef before that, the most popular scoreline, 3-1. It's happened eight times today in 11 completed matches. Gilbert going for broke with the red, <coughs> turning away with a bit of concern to see whether he's left it. Williston having a look. Looks like he can get through to it. <coughs> and he's on the black. One. And you can see Gilbert just having a little chunter to himself because he knows it's out of his hands right now. Wollaston needing one frame for victory and in early in the fourth. Ben Wollaston from the snooker hotbed that is Leicester. We've seen Mark Selby successful all around the world. Of course, world number one now for three years unbroken. Tom Ford was in this group. Sorry, was in this uh, competition as well. Played a couple of groups. Wollaston, just a few years younger than those two, but very talented player. They've been in a ranking final already. And uh, it's one of those players you could see coming through the pack at a big tournament and doing some damage. Just needs a bit of consistency, a bit of a run, a bit of luck maybe to help him just rise up the rankings again. He's currently 33rd. <coughs> 70. Well, he's gone into the reds, but uh, he doesn't look too happy with how they've split. So, looks like a safety, not on anything. Disappointing that for Wollaston, break ends at 24. Ben Wollaston, 24. Could not have got any closer without that red dropping.
which is cool. That saved you a little on the thick side, but I don't think he's left anything on. But all the reds are now out in the open, so there's a big break on for somebody. Wollaston already 24 in front. I think he can get through to the red close to the corner pocket. Ooh, but he's uh, not played it at all well. Didn't get too close to the pot and has offered up a chance for Gilbert to counter-attack here. Well, this is shaping up to be a good chance. Black available and lots of reds out in the open. Twenty-three. So that levels the scores in this frame. Thirty-two. <coughs> 
Well, look at potentially playing the cannon to these uh, the red just above the pink. They've split nicely. Forty-six. <coughs> it's brought uh, another red into play. Doesn't need the other safe one on the bolt line. but he needed the blue and worse still he's brought that red into play now so all of a sudden from looking good to level up he's handed Wollaston a great chance here to win the match he's left a red over a pocket he developed other reds he brought one off the side cushion so all the other reds pop Dave Gilbert misses the blue on 46 and uh, sits down with some concern Well, the only real tough ball on the table is the blue. <coughs> I'm sure Wollaston sat in his seat, was preparing himself for a decider. He has his chance to win it, though. As I say, the blue looking like the most awkward ball at the moment. Well, he's overrun this a little. Still okay on the red, though. been a very tentative break this he's almost like he's looked for things to go wrong and now they have 
even on the first shot, he had a red over the pocket. He was sort of frowning at it without wanting to sort of play the shot, and now he's left himself nowhere. So three points in it, looking for a good safety. Well, it's a chance to win the match. He lost his way, but he's played a pretty good safety here, Ben Wollaston. Keeping the pressure on Gilbert. Looks, looks like a snooker. Gilbert leads by three, but this is a big shot coming up. Well, I think Gilbert will be happy enough with that.
this has still got a chance <laughs> in the opposite middle important thing is the cue ball uh, it looks pretty good Very cagey now, this. Well, regardless of what happens with this red, the other one's safe. So, even if either of these two pot the open red, they've got the other one to think about. Well, now that safe red's off the cushion, but because the other one's gone on the cushion or just off it. Maybe able to see the potting angle, but the white is finished in an awkward spot. Makes this much harder. Caught it a bit thick. Well, that was a chance, but it's, the rhythm's gone from this match. It's very cagey, quite negative, actually. But at least here, Wollaston bringing this red out, which does help. Opens things up a bit. We've wrote both reds in play. Well, there's a potential now about one good pot. If you could knock the red in, there's a chance for Wollaston. <coughs> oh, 
That's nicely done. One. Now, it needs to be positive now, not look for things that can go wrong. He's in, he's on the pink to play for the red. The only tough ball here is the blue. Doesn't need to worry about that right now, though. <coughs> Awkward queuing. May need the rest. Looking for an extension. Always in this situation, the player is nowhere near as close to the ball as they think, but they're conscious of it. But he's not the pink in all the same. Seven. Now then, a red and a pink. He'll lead by 11, so yellow, green and brown wouldn't need the blue. So this is a definite chance. As I say, the pink puts him 11 points in front. Yellow, green and brown would put him 20 points in front with 18 on. So this is the key shot now, getting on this yellow. If he does, you feel he should win the match. Must pop the pink as well, of course. He's played it really well. Double check in the scoreboard. Six. Well, it got uh, a bit bogged down this frame, but Ben Wollaston potted a good red. He needs green and brown now, and Dave Gilbert needs a snooker. Otherwise, Wollaston wins the match. He played well today, Ben Wollaston. He's had three centuries, 90. played some very attractive snooker, but this would be only his second point. So an important frame, important match to win if you can knock this brown in. And he's right in behind the blue. So it looks like Wollaston's going to win the last match of the day. Wouldn't you know it is 3-1? That's uh, all but three matches have been. It's nine matches out of 12 have finished 3-1. 28. 